welcome to another video. Today's video will be a bit different because it's going to be reading diary that I will do kind of in a vloggy style and that I will probably film everywhere where I'm going to read. So prepare for that, for a lot of shaky camera movement. Without further ado, let's get to the book. It's Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch and for those of you who have been following me for a while you know that her father Richard Paul Evans is one of my favorite authors of all time. Yeah, so when he blurbed his daughter's book and when he gave reasons why you should read it, he had me with the first point with that she helped with the Michael Bay series and the Walk series, which are the only series I've read by Richard Paul Evans so far and those are one of my favorite books, so yeah, pretty excited. <laughs> day sun but I just want to read a bit here and start the book outside because it's set in Italy and all this stuff so kind of feels like a book that you should read outside I have something to drink I have a phone to look up vocabulary and I have tissues because I'm prepared to cry so let's see how I like this book Join me. He hasn't left my side. Guess he doesn't want to be alone. Gelato! Okay, it's actually ice cream, but... Yay! <laughs> I just read the first 50 pages of the book. It took me quite a while, about three, four hours. But I guess that's just because I'm sitting outside and yeah, that kind of takes my mind off the book quite often. But so far I really like the book. I really like the setting at the Tuscany Cemetery. I imagine it to be really, really beautiful. and. I really like Linda so far and I like Howard and Sonia and the writing style is really funny and so hilarious at times there are so many jokes that I've just been laughing out loud like a bit like a crazy person so far and I'm really interested to see where the story is going. I've just met mysterious guy number two and at first I thought he was pretty boring and I didn't really like him but yeah a few pages later I think he's quite okay but I think I still like mysterious guy one a little bit better just because of the name I'm not sure if there's going to be a love triangle I hope not because I'm kind of bored of love triangles I think that Lena's mother is quite mysterious and I have no idea what has happened to her and why she behaved and behaves the way she did and does but I think I will see that pretty soon. I'm currently at page 130-ish 
still very funny, I'm laughing a lot. Jenna Evans World has a great writing style. I've gotten to page 167 and I'm not sure but maybe I will be able to finish this book tomorrow and I still like the book. I think it the last few pages weren't as funny as the ones before and I'm a bit iffy about the story at the moment. I don't know why exactly but I have kind of a feeling that the story is starting to spin in circles and to not really get on right now I'm not uh, I'm not that entertained and I I don't know I'm I don't like it as much as I like the beginning of the book I'm still really like Lena I am still interested to find out what the story is about and well I don't want to spoil you because nevertheless if I like the book or not I want you to read it so I try not to spoil but I have my theories about this book so far and I think it's a bit obvious that my theories might be right which is okay I'm completely okay with that but still I'm missing the thing that ties everything together I guess like I understand certain part and they kind of go together well but still I kind of miss tying the story together right now I hope this will be solved in um, the next pages until the end of the book about the gelato part and the eating in Italy part. So far I can't really imagine this amazing taste of the stuff at all because I never experienced it myself. So it's a bit hard to really fully understand how Lina feels. But I guess when I will be in Italy, when I will be in Rome someday, it sounds like I will gain like 10 pounds at least, maybe twice as much in just a week because I will be eating all the time. Yay! <laughs> and I really like the stretchitella daughter part. Don't do it, no. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, thank god, but it was still really bad and I'm really really curious now who X is. Like, I think he's really important for the story and for why Lena's mother behaved the way she behaved and everything, but I really want to know and I hope we find out who X is. I think it's starting to get really interesting now. I 
wish I was a bit more invested in the story. I mean, I like the story, I like the characters, I like the way the story is written, but I'm not really sucked into the book, I guess. And I want to be, I really want to be, but somehow I'm not. I guess my expectations were like extremely unbelievably high and that's why I can't enjoy this book as much as if I would just ordered it without reading it, I guess. And that's, I think it's really sad because I really want to like this book extremely and love it and make it just one of my favorite books ever, but right now that's not really happening. I have about a hundred pages left. I like the way this love story thing is developing because I really like the chemistry of those two characters. Again, I wish I was more invested in the story at this point also, but I am not, but still I enjoy it. And this, this scene about five pages back was really, really intense. And I was so shocked that a person could just be so rude about Lena's mother when she had just lost her and that's not no you don't talk to a person you don't talk to a, a, a grieving daughter this way you can't even if what he said was true that's not no that's so not okay he's such a jerk I don't really really don't like him but I'm not sure he kind of made me doubt the whole thing as well. He kind of had his way in making me question what Lena's mother has said, but just the way he told it was completely wrong and no. Okay, like 20 pages later, I'm feeling better about the book. I came to the part where there was a bit of solving the story and what all was about. And I think it was really, really necessary and it was a good part and now everything is more tied together and I really like that outcome and I can totally understand why the character did the things the character did. <laughs> I can also understand this other character who was so mean to Lena before kind of why he was but still it wasn't okay being this harsh on her because she wasn't responsible in any way for it but oh my god I have so much heartache right now it's like oh my god yeah well, I just want a happy end to this story I mean I mostly figured all of this stuff out on my own there were just like a few minor parts that I wouldn't have guessed and I didn't came up with on my own but still it was nice to have the story solve but again it was nice that the story was kind of solved mostly I mean I still have a lot of pages to go but the part of the story is now solved and far more understandable and I really really like that it just gave a lot to the story I almost cried but it didn't but my eyes got a bit watery because it was really really sad and I can understand why she did the things she did and it's kind of sweet and really romantic but a bit okay like two tears but then my father came with the rest of the ice cream and I made a reading break and therefore I didn't cry like a baby but I would have if I didn't have the ice cream break all in all I really enjoyed the book it was really a good book see I'm excited again I really like the characters I liked how it all wrapped up and I just it was a great debut novel in my opinion and I hope to read more of Jenna Evans Welch in the future and 
was just good. It was a really great book. So I think I will cut it short here because I want to do a review of this book, a full review. And if I put this in this video, I think that will be way too much. So I will do a separate video. So thank you, Jenna Evans Welch, for this amazing book. I've had a really great time. I've had really calming two days reading this book and spending a lot of time outside. And thank you for giving me this great feelings I had hoped for. So far, as I've gotten to know you in the last week with the book release party and so on, you made such a nice impression on me and I really like you as a person so far and yeah, I'm glad that this also counts for the book. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you soon with another video guys. Goodbye!